Now that I have a Bento installer, I am ready to install it in a system. That system need to be shut off and it's good idea to make a backup of it because you install during the installation process we will changing the configuration of the hard drive and especially if you are trying to install a bento alongside another operating system there's a risk of data loss unless you are careful in this case we will install a bento so it's the only operating system on this computer meaning that any data currently on this computer hard drive will be erased Having our installation disk ready, I will make sure my computer is turned off and I will plug in my USB drive. Now I need to tell the computer to start up from this installation disk rather than its built-in hard drive. To do this, I need to press a particular key during the computer startup sequence. On a PC, you will usually have to press F10 or F12 or F1 or something like that while the system is powering up it's usually displayed briefly at the boot screen so keep a sharp eyes out uh, out of out for it you might have to hit escape or something like that during a logo screen to get the key information of course depending on your model of computer what you see will differ a little bit check with your manufacturer documentation to be sure or you can go into your computer BIOS where the system configuration and startup option or and change the boot order of your devices so that USB is the first but that that's more advanced than what we need right now if you are using a Mac power the system down then power it back on and while it's starting press and hold the option key go ahead and plug in the usb disk when this is going on if everything goes as planned you will see a light gray screen with some icon on it including one that indicates the usb drive i will power my computer on and then i will press f10 to bring up the boot selector on startup I will choose the device, device I want to start from. In this case, one of these USB entries, if you don't pick right the first time, restart and try to different option. Now there's the two different screens you might see at this point. Depending on how your system is set up, if it's set up for EFI, which is the newer, you will see black and white menu with a few options. If your system is not using EFI, you will see a window with buttons that say try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. I will pick install the installer work for a few seconds and it auto detect my language. I will confirm my keyboard layout and language and press continue. Following that, I am given the option to connect to Wi-Fi. I will skip this for now. If your computer is plugged in to Ethernet, you maybe won't see this screen. And then I can choose if I want to do a normal installation or minimal installation. A normal installation gives you a web server, utilities, office software and some other software and minimal installation just give you a web browser and some utilities throughout the rest of this course we will be ex we will be exploring some of those office software program and utility so i'm going to choose normal installation and down here i will choose to install the third party software for graphics then i uh, then i am asked if i want to install a bento along aside Windows 10 or to erase the disk and install a bento. In this case, I am going to erase everything on this computer and make a bento the only operating system that's available. I can also choose to encrypt the installation or use LVM which will make it easier to extend the hard drive later on. But for now, while we are learning, I will leave those off. Then I am asked to confirm changes 
to the disk. Beyond this this point, any data that was on those disk is gone. So before you click continue, make sure you have got a backup. I will choose my time zone and click continue. Here I can set my name and set my computer name and then I can pick a username for myself and choose password that I will need to type in when I log into the computer. Now when the installation complete, I need to click restart now. Then I will unplug the installer and press enter and my system will restart. When it does that, I will be greeted with the login screen. As you can see on the screen, I will type my, pa my password to login. So this is done. Great. Let's starting exploring Ebento. Be with me. See you in next lecture.